All right, Loud Official TV, welcome. Today should be a good day. We are in Grand Rapids, Ohio, fishing at the Providence Dam. Now, what I'm going to do is actually throw out a 1-8 jig head with a 3-inch grub and a split shot just for a little weight, nothing too much. We're going to cast this this way and let it drift to the left, and hopefully we'll be getting our bites around this area where all the, uh, the vegetation and all that is at. So... All right, here we go. We got something, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. We got us something. Ah, come on. Here we go. <laughs> what do we have here? A red horse. <laughs> Oh, and it's a foul hook. It's a foul hook set, so we're going to take this out the fish head. But there y'all have it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, you see that? She's spawning. Go <laughs> we'll throw her back. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, what I'm doing is just throwing this out here. Either I let it drift. Or I just um, reel it in. Alright, we're gonna see what else we can get. Alright, a lot of fishing TV. We got the cast net. Now, right now I've been I was throwing the jig out and nothing was really biting on that. So what I'm doing right now is about to throw a cast net so I can try to catch me some bait for some flatheads. Supposed to be going flathead fishing Sunday uh, Sunday night with a couple of uh, friends of mine. Uh, a couple of nice shad in there, big ones. And I'm trying to get me a couple more. That way I can just freeze them up and get them already ch cut for cut bait. We're going to see what we can get right here. Hopefully I can pull out a couple fishies for you guys. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right off hand, look at that. A big old shad. You see that? That shad is possibly 14 inches. Huge. So what I want to do is actually lift him up over this. Because I almost lost one. And I do not want to lose none. <laughs> here we go with this little guy right here. Say hello. Daytime channel catfishing. Or... Some good daytime fishing period you know but I can promise y'all nothing beats that nighttime fishing for them flatheads Woo, the life all right here we go y'all fish on way out there I gotta wait to eat he got me up under something but he's still there he went up under something but he's still there Oh, uh, he went up under something. There you go. I got him out the snag. Come on. You gotta be a nice channel cat. He coming. Huh. Like I said, nice channel cat at the dam, y'all. <laughs> oh, he fell off. You see him? <laughs> As y'all just seen, that last fish came off. I was so sorry about that. I was very disappointed. Right now, what's going on with this line is that the current is moving it. But when it sits still, it'll bob a little bit like that. You can tell. But usually when the fish uh, bites it, it uh, it's real frantic, you can tell. I knew I had a fish on. He got me uh, caught up under a rock and then he got off. But that's fine, man. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get something else. Stay tuned. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Got him. He on. He's on. Yeah. 
he's on. Nice fish. Oh, definitely. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Off a, a nice piece of cut shad. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is action for me. This is the third fish that I hooked into. One, but actually both, two of them got off. One got off on the, sh uh, on the first uh, step over here. And then the second one broke the whole entire line. So he should be coming in real soon. Yeah, come on. He feel like a nice fish. Yep, come on. He act like he don't want to come, y'all. Uh-oh, I see him. He's coming in. He's coming in. And it's hard to bring him in because it's um, he's <laughs> there you go. He's hard to come in. There you go. Oh man, it's a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice. <laughs> Nice in the corner too. He go, he's going nowhere. He was going nowhere. Ah, nice fish. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> oh man, that's what I'm talking about right there. <sighs> nice fish, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, it got him at the corner of the mouth. You see that? That's always a good hook set, no matter what the cost is. That's always gonna be a good hook set. And it's really good when you fishing in uh, dams and stuff like that with fast moving water. That way you can uh, get a better chance of bringing him in. But he wanted that bait, y'all. I'm about to see how much he weighs. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. We're going to see how much the fish weigh. Just stick it right up under that jaw. Oh, hold on. You got to do it all over. Okay. All right. He weighs five pounds, 11 ounces. You can see five pounds, 11 ounces. Look at that, y'all. Nice fish. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Are we going to let him go? I'm going to release him in the dam area. All right, stay tuned. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a huge fish. <laughs> he just broke everything. Jesus. All right, fish on, y'all. I had to switch to 65 pound braided. He ain't getting off of this one. Cause they've been breaking the 20 pound braided off. Yep. And come down here. I'm coming right around you. Say bye. Bye. Yep, there you go. He right there. I see where he at. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, fishy fish. Up oh, there you go. Come on. Here you come. Come on up. Come on. Come on up. There you go. Get over here. Look at his big fish. There you go. Oh man. Look at this, y'all. I can tell you automatically that this is a four pound channel cat automatically nice fish real nice look the corner of the mouth that's what circle hooks do you let the circle hook do its job and you bring the fish in that's what I'm talking about that's a nice fish look at that man fish for these cats in the dam is a whole nother ball game it is a battle ain't nothing like catching the channel cat in the dam I'm about to see what else I can get into stay tuned 
Oh, by the way, the last catfish that I caught was caught on my bait caster. My Cat Max bait caster. And it actually did a pretty good job. And it felt, it still felt smooth when I uh, reeled that catfish in with all these rocks and gravel all over the place. When I was using my 20 pound um, braided line, it was a little bit more rough because I was using my Opti 60 um, spinning reel. But for some reason with this uh, bait cast reel, it makes everything seem so much smoother. So, so far I'm, I'm loving it, man. I, I haven't really used it that much, but I have caught maybe a total of uh, three fish on it. But I just need to get catch into bigger ones and, you know, need to catch more fish uh, more often on it. So I can really get a greater feel of how this Cat Max reel work. Um, you probably can see them down there. But right now I'm looking at the tip of the rod just to make sure no, nothing bite. So we're going to see what we can catch. Stay tuned. Okay, so everybody, man, I'm out of here today. I got to go to work. But I just wanted to come out here and fish the dam because that was one of the few things I haven't got to do, especially for my fans, for the people who watch. Um, I know you probably seen me catch a couple channel cats out of there, um, which was hella fun. And I actually hooked into so many of them. But the thing is, man, it's so rocky out there. They was breaking my 20 pound line. I changed to uh, 60 pound, 65 pound braided and it did good, but then you know, I end up uh, snagging a quite, quite a bit more the last two fish. So I'm out now, man. I got two big giant shads in here, and then I have uh, a giant uh, quill quill bag that I'm gonna be using for flathead Sunday night. So y'all stay tuned. Had a blast.